Hi Virgo, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with another love reading and uh, yeah, don't forget your moon rising in your Venus videos uh, to you know for more clarity. Before we begin Virgo, happy birthday and uh, this is going to be a full reading, there is no extended um, this time around for a short time here, no extended and let's get into it here. I've already shuffled the cards and I have laid them out Virgo and I'm looking at your reading and to me it looks like uh, you're carrying some kind of a heavy load here. I think you want a new beginning with somebody here. Um, it could have been somebody from the past here. It's possible. Or maybe somebody who was part of a third party because the Three of Cups is here next to the Two of Pentacles, right? Now, I think you're trying to make a decision about this person here. And for some of you, it could be a fire sign, okay? We're going to get into the reading in just a moment. The overall energy here is the Knight of Wands in the reverse, Virgo. So you're either not taking action, you could be just chilling, right? You could be sitting back and maybe trying to figure something out here because uh, that could be the case here. Or maybe you are lacking, uh, maybe you're dealing with fear here, right? And, uh, you know, lacking the courage to, uh, to maybe move forward uh, to somebody to have a new start here, Page of Pentacles. I also think that... Um, you could be dealing with the fire sign, as I mentioned. We have the Wheel of Fortune in your hopes and fears, okay? And the Knight of Wands is in the overall energy, which is in the reverse, okay? Let's get started, Virgo. If you get a message here, please give a thumbs up, all right? And, uh, yeah, let's see about this reading here. And uh, you have serendipity here. Wow, so serendipity is like this magical happiness, right? Yeah, it is like a magical bliss. And, yeah, this is also uh, 18, which is, you know, number 9, basically, um, as we reduce it, right? Which means, like, achievement and fulfillment. That's what that means. The 9s are about that, right? And regeneration. And we have Treasure Island. Okay. So, Virgo, um, this is how I said, this is, you know, what I was just saying, that I think some of you want to reunite with somebody who is either part of a third party or possibly just somebody from your past, okay? And um, I feel like you're super guarded about it. Maybe there was something that went on in the past, right? Uh, maybe you left this other person for somebody or they left you or something like that. But here, this is the near future. You have the Nine of Wands showing up, you know, this is guarded energy. This can, and this also means that you've already been through a lot, right? A lot of pain, maybe fighting with somebody, but you've been through some kind of a battle here, and I feel like you are still, like, holding a load here, right, with the Ten of Wands in your crossing energy. So let's refer back here. Let's go back here. Serendipity, regeneration. This is also a reconciliation. This is, you know, reconciling with somebody or rebuilding something that has been destroyed that has been through a tower moment maybe more than one tower moments regeneration this tree has been burnt to the ground and all the earth surrounding it excuse me so this is telling me <coughs> that this indeed is most likely a reconciliation for you and this reconciliation is full of joy and happiness and bliss and magic, okay? Treasure Island as well showing up with it, okay? So this could be something that you really, really want. Okay, let's get into the reading. Let's see why you are the Knight of Wands in your overall energy. Why is that Knight of Wands here for Virgo? Two of Wands. So you're not, this is clear, you're not taking, you're not moving forward. I feel like this is fear here, right? This could also be a fire sign, maybe a Sagittarian, once again, because the Wheel of Fortune is showing up in your hopes and fears. So, to me, it looks like you're having fear here. Uh, you could be wanting to move forward with somebody and you are not doing it, right? Yeah, you are not doing that. Uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse, or you don't have the courage to do it. The Ten of Wands is what's crossing you. Let's see why. Why is that Ten of Wands crossing Virgo? Nine of Swords. Yikes. And the Empress. Okay. So the Empress can be here because 
somebody could be your empress. Somebody could be a really passionate person to you, your queen, uh, somebody who can, you know, make things happen, right? Uh, bring things to fruition. Somebody with abundance in order, right? In other words, this can also be somebody's mother. It can be. This can be, you know, a mother here. But I'm looking at it more like a third party, possibly, because the number three is the Empress in the Major Arcana. But we have the Three of, Pe three of Wands here. Three of Cups, beg your pardon. And um, let's see, though. It, it may not be this Empress, but this Empress is somebody that you want to return to. Yeah. Page of Pentacles is the root. You want a new start. You want something tangible with somebody. You want something stable. However, it's a, slow, it's a small start, but it is something stable. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Tower. The Seven of Swords. You could be wanting a new start with somebody after some type of a tower moment. This could be so, another union that you're in that has, you know, that is collapsing. That is ending. The tower can be endings. It can be a powerful realization as well. You could have a powerful realization that you want to, you know, that you want to, the tower can sometimes be letting the old die and the new come in. That's what the tower is. And the tower is also some, this can be a situation where something uh, was on a weak foundation from the start. It's possible that, you know, you want to have a new beginning with somebody and there was a tower moment with them in the past. And maybe this is why you're lacking courage over here. I feel like you are either lacking courage or you are not taking action to do it. Yes. Okay. Seven of Swords uh, is over here in the root. And what that's telling me, I just think that you, you could have been, there could have been deception in the past. Yes. And you could also, for some of you guys, you'd be ending a situation and starting something new with somebody, right? With somebody maybe who was part of a third party in the past, Three of Cups, Empress. Because this Empress is your, this Empress is your burden. Excuse me just a moment. Just a minute, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Now, the Four of Pentacles is in the recent past, the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles, there could have been juggling here, right? You could have also been trying to make a decision here with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what you were doing. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. You were trying to figure out if you wanted to put the work in. Yes. And you maybe you were putting the work in with this person here, this empress, right? That there was a tower over, I believe. And I feel like there could be another party here as well. That, as I mentioned, you could uh, be ending a situation with somebody here. You could be, yeah. And you could be ending something because somebody, you know, somebody was lying in the past. There was deception, as I mentioned. Three of Cups is showing up in... What is affecting you on a conscious level? This could simply be on your mind. Clarify that for Virgo. Why is it there for Virgo? Seven of Wands here and, wow, King of Wands. So many of you guys could be dealing with the fire sign here, right? <laughs> because we have the... Wheel of Fortune in your hopes and fears. The King of Wands now is what's on your mind. And the Knight of Wands in the reverse is the overall energy. Okay. So over here, what is affecting you, Virgo? I think you feel overwhelmed about reuniting with this person. Yes. And you're feeling overwhelmed about it... Uh... Maybe because you're having fear. This person, as I mentioned, could have been somebody from the past. Maybe a third party. Maybe somebody that you had lied to in the past. Seven of Swords, energy, in the root with the tower and the Page of Pentacles. So you are your person, uh, Virgo, because this can, you know, this is your reading here. But this can also translate into their energy. 
depending on, you know, which Virgo I'm reading for out there. But it looks like, you know, in the past there was some sneaky business here and somebody could have lied. Somebody could have been in another union that is now collapsing here. And you may be ready to, well, you may want a new start, but I don't think you're ready. Knight of Wands in the reverse with the Two of Wands. You're not ready for, for some reason here. You could have done something to this person, yes. You could have also brought a tower to the same person that you want to reunite with. Because I think that this person is the King of Wands. And they could be simply be showing up here in the reverse, in your overall energy, because you are afraid to approach them, maybe. Or because there was deception with this person in the past. And yes, this person could have been the one who was, you know, deceiving. You are either resisting uh, getting back with them, and I feel like you are here because you're lacking courage or you are lacking, you are not taking action. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yes. Two of Wands, part of your overall energy. This is, you know, at a crossroads. But this is actually wanting to take action. It is, but it is at a crossroads like. What should I do? Two of Wands. It can be that type of energy. Where, which, which, which route do I go? Which way do I go here sometimes? Now, this Nine of Wands is showing up in the near future. Why is that Nine of Wands there for Virgo? Clarify the Nine of Wands for Virgo. Yeah, this is definitely about a reconciliation that has definitely gone through a tower moment. This, this tree has been burned to the ground. It looks awful too, but it is, you know, it is still alive and it's coming back to life more and more each day. So the tower is, it's similar energy to the tower, although regeneration is, you know, rebuilding. Treasure Island and serendipity. Wow. And I think that you really know that this person is your star or this person is your treasure island. Yes. Wow. This is a beautiful card. These are beautiful cards here. Now, let's see why you have the Nine of Wands in your near future, please. Four of Swords. So this is in your near future. I think that you are guarded and you are, yeah, you're trying to heal here in your near future. Both of these cards, the Nine of Wands can be, you know, somebody who needs to heal, right? Somebody who is carrying baggage or, excuse me, just super guarded here. Remember the bandage, the bandage is on his head with the Four of Swords and now we have the Four of Cups. So this is definitely about a relationship with the Fours or a home, right? Some type of foundation here. It can be work, it can be, but it is typically, uh, you know, this is a love reading anyway, but uh, the Fours can be about any type of foundation. So here in your near future, you're, I feel like you're guarded, and I, I think that you are worried that this person might reject you. They might turn you down here. Nine of Wands is a little bit paranoid. If you can see the, the card uh, close up, this, uh, this man is seriously uh, paranoid. He has his wand there to protect him, and the bandage is there uh, on his healing wound. And he's, you know, looking with paranoid eyes, right? Yeah, I feel like you are worried here, or you are, yeah. You could maybe be healing from a situation, but I think that what's going on is that you are uh, worried that this person will reject you. The Ace of Pentacles is how you see yourself. Why does Virgo see himself that way? King of Cups, Lovers, wow. So you're making a choice here. This is what you're doing. The Lovers, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. One more card on the Lovers. Why is that Lovers there? And this is the Sun. Wow. So this is happiness and, and, and you know, success. Yes. And growth, right? The Sun is all about growth here. But you could have also, you could be seeing yourself as possibly, you know, very clear, crystal clear that I need to make a decision here. Yes, the sun. The sun is in illumination, right? Everything is out in the open. Everything is crystal clear. There's nothing in the dark with the sun. 
you could have had an illumination here, kind of like an awakening, like I want to make a choice here, uh, maybe between two people, the lovers can be a choice between two. This can also simply be that you are seeing yourself maybe as having some type of a new beginning, but you're seeing yourself, I believe, as making a choice here, and I do feel like you've made a choice, but you are afraid to move forward. In your environment, Virgo, the judgment. Why is judgment there for Virgo, the judgment card? This is an awakening. This is this can be rebirth, second chance, or regeneration, just like your oracle here. Hanged man, six of cups. So in your environment, somebody could be making a decision about you, uh, somebody from the past maybe, or that has to do with somebody from the past. And this person that... Uh, I believe you are hoping to reconcile with is uh, somebody from your past, Six of Cups here. So this is your environment. Somebody can be making a decision to maybe let you go because of somebody from the past. That could be the case. You could be making a, de a decision too. Yes. But it looks like, you know, there could be a Pisces that you have been dealing with as well here. Hangman, Judgment, Six of Cups. Maybe they're making a decision about you because you uh, could be going back to somebody from your past with regeneration. I think that for some of you there was a third party a long time ago and now you are trying to move toward them but I feel like you are afraid because of maybe you could have left them for the person that you maybe are currently with or you know or somebody else you could have just left them uh, maybe not knowing at the time that they are your star because I think that's what's going on here this person is your treasure your hopes and feel fears is the wheel of fortune why does Virgo have the wheel of fortune three of pentacles the hermit so this is you here in your hopes and fears. I feel like you want to work it out with a Sagittarian. You're definitely hoping for something good to work things out, to work on things with somebody, to collaborate with somebody. Three of Pentacles. This is, you know, two or three people working together, right? It doesn't have to be those numbers here. Um, yeah, you're hoping to work on things with somebody and I feel like it is a Sagittarian here uh, because in your most you know I, I see fire energy here uh, Knight of Wands, King of Wands and the uh, Wheel of Fortune is here let's get one more card in your hopes and fears why is that Hermit there for Virgo Chariot, yeah you want to move forward with I believe uh, for some of you guys, but you, a fire sign, but definitely want to move forward with somebody who I believe is from your past. Yeah, you want to take control of your life. You want to have victory with this person. Yeah, after struggles, the chariot is typically uh, after struggles. I, I feel like you want success here. Yes, you want success, wheel of fortune. Yes, you want things to go well with this person you're hoping that but over here you are lacking courage in your outcome is the four of wands Virgo why does Virgo have the four of wands for this? king of pentacles here you are temperance so wow <laughs> okay so we have the wheel of fortune here king of wands knight of wands and now we have temperance so this is to me this is telling me for some of you are dealing with a Sagittarian uh, no, not all of you, okay? <laughs> but, you know, this is still, regardless of whether or not this is Sagittarius or not, this can simply be uh, compromise, right? Temperance and balance, right? Grounding, you know, spiritually grounding and having balance and self-control in your life, right? That's what balance is about, right? King of Pentacles, here you are, with the Four of Wands. So... This is going to work out for you, Virgo, uh, but you have to take courage and move forward with this person, okay? Uh, if this, re if this vid video resonated with you guys, uh, please give a thumbs up. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos.
you guys. If you would like a private reading, that is the best way. Uh, yeah, um, all the information is directly below. Thank you so much for going. Happy birthday.